Hello everybody and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX week day number two. In today's video we will be opening this Cybernetic Revolution Korean box going up against Elemental Energy Korean box. Again, two of my casual members, Maxi and Zach, have purchased these boxes and sent them to me to open. Hopefully gonna be pulling Cyber Dragon, Cyber Twin Dragon, Cyber Ren Dragon, Elemental Hero Tempest, Shining Flare Wingman, and Grandpa Blaster in Ultimate Rare, guys. There is a giveaway for today's video. There's these two packs, a Synchro Storm and a Darkwing Blast. About $5 worth of packs there. So if you wanna get involved, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. You must do all of those things to win the giveaway. Guys, without further ado, let's get cracking. Let's start off with Cybernetic Revolution. This is Maxi's box, guys. So there are, I think, around 40 packs in here. So we're going to be opening the majority of these until we pull an ultimate rare. So why are we opening these? Because these are so easy to open. These, like, Korean boxes are cheap. They give you that nostalgia rush. You can't actually open Cybernetic Revolution. There's no reprint. There's even the unlimited packs are really, really expensive, guys. So without further ado, I hope you sit back and enjoy the nostalgic pool. So I've scissor cut half the packs already, guys, and we're just gonna go pack by pack and see what cards we're able to pull. So we have a Drillroid, a Pot of Generosity with a Steam Gyroid. Pack number two, guys. I'm really hoping we can get some ultimate rares to add to the counter, but equally, you know, uh, something crazy like a I think it's Jerry Beans Man. There we go. I was going to say Jerry Beans Man, guys. I absolutely love Jerry Beans Man. He's such a cool card. I think it's Jobber's favorite uh, monster. And he's like one of those classic little spirits as well that just cheers up everybody's day. Mad Lobster is, as well is kind of salty that uh, Jerry Beans Man literally is a rank uh, level three with 50 more attack points than this beast of a lobster, which is just hilarious, I think. So we move on, guys. Come on, where's our first hollow? I think even like Super Rare Cyber Dragon would be a pretty nice one to pull. Let me know if you enjoy opening these Korean sets, guys, or, you know, see them being opened. Because, yes, I'm not going to be able to open up a first edition Cybernetic Revolution uh, box every time. Um, it's probably not as fun, but it's still pretty fun, guys. It's still good fun to open these. And, uh, like I said, I would highly recommend if you have a spare 30, 50 bucks to spend um, and you want to have some nostalgic pulls, definitely do this, guys, because they are pretty awesome and also kind of guaranteed foils as well yes we haven't pulled a four yet but they tend to come all together all at once uh which is kind of <laughs> defeats the point but um yeah it's still good fun so definitely should do that if you are keen so jet roid and we have a so is that soitsu doitsu joitsu i can't remember i think there's quite a few of them that come over here we go this one might be doitsu i think he's the only effect one Maybe I'm talking rubbish. Maybe that's not true. Here we go. Oh, Cyber Dragon. There we go. We have Zane Cyber Dragon. Very nice. Beautiful looking card, guys. I love how it looks like it's in a theater with those beautiful lights behind it. Really nice artwork, Konami. Well done. So Cyber Dragon has been pulled. Let's try and pull all the Cyber Dragons. Uh, Cyber Twin would be nice. And then Cyber End. Uh, Psychroid. Tyranno Infinity. This thing was like expensive for a while. I... Oh, Bubble Shuffle Ultimate Rare, guys. Yo. Elemental Hero Bubble Man comes in this. I completely forgot. That's actually ridiculously foiled. So we got an ulti, one to add to the counter. That's nice. The all time ultimate rare counter, which is down below. Um, that's not bad. It's a, it's a pretty decent looking one. Not, not the best. It's a spell card, but uh, hey, we can always, we cannot always win, guys. There we go, UFO Roid, so another foil. Pretty cool. What did I tell you? All the foils seemingly come matched together. We've hit a ravine of foils, guys. I told you! Skyscraper, nice. Very cool. And this last pack here. Let's see what it is. So it's a Poison Frog. Oh, Transcendent Wings ulti, guys! We pulled the second ulti, that is insane. Yo, guys, that's gorgeous. Look at Transcendent Wings. That's so much better than the North American and even the European cards. Oh, this Korean stuff is just golden. It's beautiful. Okay, guys, let's keep going. Let's see if we can pull that Cyber End Dragon or at least Cyber Twin Dragon. I don't think we're going to get any more ultis, but we should be drawing Ultra. That's Rottweiler. Very cool. Our first rare, actually. We haven't pulled any rares, which is bizarre when you think about it. Um, there is a Dimension Fisher Fusion. Dimension Fusion. Oh, Ultra Rare. 
um, UFO Roid Fighter. I wasn't expecting that. That's good. I think we almost have our box ratio, guys. We've got the three supers, two ulties. Maybe we're just due one more super. So if we pull another super, I'll probably be stopping the CRV there um, until, you know, we get it. But for now, I think we'll move on to Elemental Energy once we get our last super rare, guys. Mad Lobster. Two more packs before we have to slice a few more open. We have a uh, hell. Oh, what's this card called? Mechanical Hound, maybe? Jerry Beans Man. And then our last pack from this side is a Des Frog. Oh, I think we have it. Oh, it's a Cybernetic Magician. So that wasn't the strongest box, guys, from Cybernetic Revolution. Yeah, definitely was not the best of pulls, guys. Two spell ulties, not the best ultra. I believe we got the Cyber Dragon, but uh, yeah, it's time to open Elemental Energy. Can we get anything better for Zack out of EEN? Let's find it out. All right, EEN, let's do it. Um, I do want to see the cover card pulled. That'd be insane. It's not easy to pull, guys. Look at all these packs. That is insane. Look at the amount of booster packs that we have right here. A legend has it that all the hollows are at the back, so we're going to start with those. These packs look great. They really do look good. And of course, we pulled the Wild Edge uh, ulti very not that long ago. But this is how you do it, guys. If you want to cut through the packs like so, don't worry. No pack, no cards were injured in the process of, of cutting these. We lay them out flat and we get cracking, guys. So let's see what we can pull out of EEN for Zach. Hydro get on. Oja Muscle and a, ooh, a Chthonian Blast or Chthonian something. Oxy get on, Bastian Mesawa with my bonding H2O, and that's an armed changer, so two rares. Let's see what we can get, guys. Cyber Etoile, Darkwell something, and V Tiger Jet. Man, it's been a while since I've seen some of these Yu-Gi-Oh GX cards. W, uh, w Wing Catapult. God, they were so terrible, these uh, W and, and Z. Uh, is it W and X? No, it's W and Z, it is W and Z. No, it's X, Y, Z. V, W. V, W. There you go. Those were terrible Chaz Princeton cards. <gasps> guys, we have a fusion. Oh my god, we have a fusion, guys. Is it an ulti? No, it's just a Cyber Blader. Rare. So that goes up against our pools at the top. Not bad. We'll take that. A foil is a foil. And we have a uh, Zure. Archfiend of Dark World or Knight of Dark World. Here's our first hero. It's Elemental Hero Wild Heart. And Hero Barrier, nice. Reborn Zombie. Weed Out with um, Injection Fairy Lily, pretty cool. That was Jethonian Blast, I think. W Wing Catapult. And uh, VW, there it is. That's the, uh, the fusion, the contact fusion version of the V and W. Oh, better shot ulti, another spell card ultimate rare has just been pulled, guys. That's really gorgeous. Wow, that looks beautiful. Look at Avion go within the skyscraper. That's pretty cool. Come on, guys. Gotta appreciate these artworks. Wow, almost looks like a fake card by how shiny. It looks like a sticker. That's gorgeous, guys. Not a bad ulti. I'll take it. Oh, B as Tetron. Not great. Not a good foil. Uh, probably one of the worst foils out of this set. I mean, no hate to the people who like those spaceships, but uh, not for me. Not today. Not for me, guys. All right, come on. V W wing. V wing. Sorry. It's V W. There he is, Mr. V W. Come on, please give me a nice ultimate rare, guys. So all I'm asking for is one, because we've had three spell cards. Give me a monster, please. Not a trap. I want a monster ulti. That's all I'm asking for, guys. I, uh, I don't ask for much. I'm just wanting Konami to give me something good. That's a Chetonian soldier. This is a pretty creepy looking one. Okay, I think we've done it, guys. Dude. Oh, it's oh, oh, actually, we do. Okay, so it's VW XYZ. Uh, pretty cool. So that's another super rare to add. Um, interesting. That's a cool GX card. Uh, Bron, the making of Dark Worlds. I wouldn't even say no to a Dark World ulti, guys, at this point. Like a silver, there you go. That's pretty cool. Ian, Wild Heart. Ooh, Ramp Up Blaster is our ultra rare. Nice, very nice. Cool ultra, guys. Beautiful artwork. Very, very nice. We're doing pretty well on the fusions for Elements Energy, of course. The set is colored purple, so yeah. 
I'm happy. All right, come on. Nope, we're still gonna have to go digging into these packs, guys, until we get that second ulti. Okay, come on, here goes nothing. Uh, Brow, uh, Huntsman of Dark World. I'm feeling that we're gonna get a, uh, the, the Wild Cyclone card. Oh, gold, nice, another super has been pulled. That's our fourth super. All that we need now is one more ulti. And then we've completed this box of elemental energy. So that's Brawn again. Do we have our ulti? No. But I got a feeling it's gonna be a spell card because we've only seen spell card ultis. Oh, it is a spell card, but it's part of Avarice. Wow, that thing looks gorgeous. Pot of Avarice Ultimate Rare, guys. That looks like a jewel or a gem or whatever you want to call it. I actually have pulled this in English from a tin. So I have pulled this in the TCG. Now I've pulled it in the OCG. Um, beautiful. Look at that ulti stamp. Whoa, you can actually see the pot straight through that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, that's nice. That's gorgeous. Really nice pull. We might as well go through our last three packs, guys, um, just to show you that there isn't anything in these. I think the ratios are seven foils, one ultra, uh, as well as four supers and two ultis. Yeah, like I predicted. So those are the pools, guys. Remember, day three is tomorrow. For day three, I will be opening this Korean Enemy of Justice box, as well as five first edition European original trading card game TCG booster packs now these are euro guys we're hoping to pull something incredible like an ultimate rare the last time i bought five random euro packs with shadow of infinity and we pulled two ultis so if you're excited for day three tomorrow we will be opening these come and join us let's see if we can pull some epic ultis and have some better luck than today if you enjoyed the video guys drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you for gx day week three tomorrow